Hey guys, welcome back to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Thank you so much for joining me here for this next episode. I just know it's going to be a good one. There are always good ones. I'm excited. I'm ready. I've got my tissue, my square of tissue, just in case. You never know. And I'm ready. Let's get watching. <gasps> oh, poor Willow. I am so sorry. His shirt. This kind of looks like uh, Sunnydale High. You know we were talking about having a picnic? Oh. Do you ever hang out at Rugs Field? We were talking about having a picnic. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. So was that a conversation we actually had or one I was just practicing? Practicing? It's not easy, you know, talking to you sometimes. It's like an oral exam. Right. <laughs> Boy, that's just what every girl longs to hear. <laughs> well, you're tricky. Oh, he just gives me mixed vibes, like... You. Is he sincere or not? I don't know. A picnic. First of all, daylight. He said that he would bring all the food, so all I have to do is show up and eat. Those are two things I'm really good at. <laughs> yes. So he's nice. Very, very. And there's Sparkage? Yeah. I really like him. Okay, okay. I just feel like something's missing. Yes. He's not making you miserable? <laughs> exactly. Yes. He wouldn't cause me heartache. Get out. Get out while there's still time. <laughs> I have to get away from that bad boy thing. There's no good there. Yeah. Seeing Angel in LA, even for five minutes. Hello to the pain. Part of me believes that real love and passion have to go hand in hand with pain and fighting. Oh. I wonder where I get that from. I love that she spoke about seeing Angel in that last episode. I didn't know whether it would get brought up uh, in this next episode of Buffy, but I'm so glad that it, it, it does. And that's one thing I love about Buffy is that they continue the story and the goings on in the episodes, like in subsequent episodes, very, very good. Like it's not just one and done, it continues on beautifully. I I like Riley, but we know he has this secret life. There's just something about him. I don't know. Uh, he's nice and all, but I'm getting... I just... I'm just not sure. I'm not convinced. You saw their faces, but you can't describe them. Well... What? They were human. Oh. <laughs> Two eyes each, kind of in the middle. And the lab? Underground. <laughs> I'm done. Put the telly on. <laughs> about time does he Hope live in giles's house <laughs> no <laughs> you've done this for angel he must have <laughs> go it. <gasps> Ew. we can't let you go until we're sure that you're you're, you're impotent or hey <gasps> sorry poor choice of words until we know that you're you're flaccid oh look at my poor neck <laughs> all <laughs> bare and tender and exposed <laughs> all that blood just pumped away. Oh, please. Giles, make us stop. If those two don't kill each other, I might lend a hand. Oh. What about a truth spell? But, um, Spike doesn't really know that much. I think he's telling Buffy what he does know. I'll be back in the morning with donuts and motherwort. Great. Thank you, Willow. <laughs> oh, it's kind of cute. Um, Willow may have had a very helpful idea. She seems to be coping better with Arthur's departure, don't you think? Yeah, I think she's dealing. She's getting What, are you people blind? She's hanging on by a thread. And it nearly could see that. That's Oz's room. Devin said that he sent for his stuff. <gasps> oh. I guess this means he's planning on settling down some more. I feel like I've been split down the center and half of me is lost. I know. Oz is gone. If he's taken his stuff, then he is gone. You seriously drive for fun? Well, not four-wheeling or anything, but yeah. You can have the best time in a car. It's not about getting somewhere. You have to take your time. You just relax. Let it wash over you. The air. Very romantic. We are talking about driving, right? Yes, I think so. Thought I was. I'm taking you. Some night when it's warm. It's going to change everything for you. It sounds nice. I'm in. No, I do like him, but oh, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, well. why, why am I hesitant? I interrupted. Wait. Sit. Sit. There's plenty to go around. 
That's really kind. Your apples are turning brown. <laughs> the way they do. Yes, they do that. Mm. Yeah. Wow, what a what a letdown. <laughs> oh poor Willow. It was a nice picnic. You mean Oz just sent for her stuff and didn't even call her? I wonder if she's Oh. Oh, okay. Having a wonderful time. Way to rebound. It's time to shake and shimmy it off. Sounds like a good policy. Yeah. Yeah, and it works too. We're all just. <gasps> oh, I see. Drunk? She's drunk. Okay, 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 okay. Will, how about you? Give me that beer. Why should I? I've got pain here. We all have pain, Will. Oh, poor me. I live in a basement. Yeah, that's dire. <laughs> I just can't stand feeling this way. I want it to be over. Yeah. It will. It takes time. I promise. But it's gonna take time. Mm -hmm. Can I just make it go poof? <laughs> this just makes me think that, yeah, she's awake. She's thinking of how to get rid of the feeling. She's used magic spells before. How can well yeah. ye elements? So how is this going to go wrong? for the big bad <laughs> it is my will that my heart be healed oh it hasn't happened oh a bit concerned about you actually i came because we had an appointment the other day well right the truth spell i know that you're going through a very difficult time but shirking your responsibilities but i didn't i did the research i i picked up the motherwort i just forgot the doing the spell part <laughs> that isn't like you at all i've been off yeah I even tried to do a spell last night. I was hoping it would make me feel better, but it just went kablooey. A spell? Well, I don't think it's wise for you to be doing that alone right now. Your energy's too unfocused. Oh, it, 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 she might summon in some bad energy? I'm only saying this because- Oh, you care. Everybody cares. Nobody wants to be inconvenienced. You all want me to take the time and go through the pain, as long as you don't have to hear about it anymore. Mm. It's not fair. And I see how you could feel that way. You say that you do, but you don't see anything. Oh, what? What just um, happened? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, but perhaps I'd better be going. What? Um, Something flashed in her eyes and has gone into Giles? So sorry. What is this? Let your deceitful tongue be broken. Uh... No, he can no. barely read it. That's like me sometimes the trying truth. to read something. <gasps> oh no. Hey, I won't have you doing mojo on me if you can't read properly. You could turn me into a stink beetle or what all. <laughs> It'll be a generous ending for you, Spike. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. At least he didn't um, hurt Giles. I was really worried that he would attack him. Giles just worries. Spells can be dangerous. If I had any real power, I could have made Oz stay with me. The only real witch here is fuzzy little Amy. <laughs> Amy. I think you're being too hard on yourself. So cute. She's got access to powers I can't even invoke. First, she's a perfectly normal girl. Then, <gasps> poof, she's a rat. <laughs> I could never do something like that. <laughs> Poor Amy. Now I, I can't remember what she said to Giles. Did she say like something like, you can't see? Is that why he's having trouble reading and, and his eyes are funny? I'm kind of greedy. We could, uh, you know, have a girl's night. Well, I can't hang out with you until I get Spike back to Giles. You know that. I don't see the big. He's probably just standing out there. Find him in two seconds. Yep. And, yep. And that's it. Everything she says comes true. Oh, hey, hang on. amazing. This... What are you talking about? The lab. Commando lab. The door was right here where I escaped. <laughs> Open up! I'm gonna kill you! Spike, there's nothing there. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna gag you. <laughs> oh. 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 You're not gonna do anything to me. You don't have the stones. Oh, I got the stones. I got a whole bunch of stones. <laughs> yeah? You're all talk. Giles! I accidentally killed Spike! That's okay, right? Just a minute. I mean, I'm going through something. You know, Will, it's not like she could just let Spike go. Oh. I get this spell reversed. They'll be finding your body for weeks. Oh, make a move. I'm dying for a good slave. Spike's more important than me. I get it. Buffy's got to find out what's up with those commandos. Right now, she needs Spike. Why doesn't she just go marry? 
no, 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 no. Long enough to... Uh, it's just so sudden. I, I don't know what to say. Just say yes and make me the happiest man on earth. What? Of course it's yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> now he really can't see anything because this Giles, is crazy. You'll never believe what's happened. <laughs> Oh my gosh, um, that's kind of c cool. But eventually you'll meet somebody else and it'll be better. I don't think so. I think we're all doomed to badness. We're not doomed. Let's look at your bio. Insect lady, mummy girl, mm, Anya. Yeah. You're a demon magnet. <gasps> hey, I was just trying to help. Something happened then, you're a demon magnet. Right, so he's gonna get in trouble. Everything's blurred. I'm certain it's it's a spell of some kind because um, it seems something else is going wrong. Here you go. Oh, no. 98.6. <laughs> Horribly wrong. Oh, yes. Well, first thing I'd say, we're not having a church wedding. No. How about a daytime ceremony? <laughs> Fabulous. What? Enjoy your honeymoon with the big pile of dust. Yes, exactly. Under the trees. <laughs> Look at that. Lip. Gonna get it. Aww. Gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cute. Stop. <laughs> yes, please stop. Giles, did you see my ring? Oh, I love it. Thankfully, not very well. <laughs> and I know that you probably don't approve, but this day is about family. Oh. And I would like you to be the one to give me away. Oh, perfect. That's actually beautiful. That's, that's, that's so... Oh, for God's sake, this is nonsense. Something is making... <laughs> You act this way. Mm -hmm. Don't you realize mm -hmm. what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Living the dream. He's going to have to take a bit of time to get used to it. Babe. But you guys weren't crazy about Angel at first either. You weren't going to say that name. <gasps> oh. Sorry. You think I don't live with the shadow of Drusilla over my head? <gasps> that I'm not wondering if you're going to be thinking of her on our honeymoon when you're making sweet love to me? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> Giles, are you okay? I rather think not. I, I seem to be rather, um, rather blind. <gasps> how how yeah. did this happen? What you want is a general reversal spell. Are you helping me? Well, it's almost like you're my father-in-law, isn't it? See, this is how it's going to be. Spike will even take care of you while I'm at the magic shop. From now on, we're family. <laughs> it's all right. What? I, I have more scotch. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We've seen Buffy in a wedding dress before, but I really want to see her and put that one on. And now I think hey, Riley is probably thinking that she's thinking about him. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> yeah. Riley. Buffy. <laughs> I really like you. I hope you know that you mean a lot to me. And if things were different. Uh oh. I want you to promise me that we can always be friends. And I'd really like you to be there on the day. The day when? The wedding. My wedding. I'm getting married. Can you believe it? I don't think no is a strong enough word. I know. It's crazy. I cannot believe she told him. I love him. What's his name? Who? The groom. Spike. <laughs> That's a name. Don't be mad. I'm not mad. No, you are mad. No, I am. I really. This is crazy. Wow. I... Who is this guy? And does he go here? Oh no, he's totally old. <laughs> old. Well, not as old as my last boyfriend was. <gasps> okay. Oh. I'm just gonna go far away and be away. Yes. But she is very peculiar. That word um definitely applies for Buffy for Riley. <laughs> I'm a little distracted. Willow was really upset. <gasps> oh my go god, Willow said something about a demon. Does this mean that Anya is going to turn back into her demon form? <gasps> okay, well this, this we can handle. I didn't want Anya to turn back. Oh, he's pretty. No, wow. No, it's the Parvo demon. Drowning is the only way to kill it. <laughs> she knows. Put it in the sink. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Aren't they a perfect little us? I don't like him. Clearly human. Oh. Red paint. 
blood of the innocent. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Stop that right now. I can hear the smacking. <laughs> Spike, he's all untied. Maybe the demons have something to do with Giles being blind. Giles is blind. Stop whatever you're doing. <laughs> This is the crack team that foils my every plan. I am deeply ashamed. Spike's right. We really should get organized. Why are you holding hands? Bad to hear it. No. Spike and I are getting married. How? What? How? 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 Three excellent questions. Yes. How? What? Are you what? Looking how? At? The man I love. Can I be blind too? Yes. Wait. Yes, Sander. So Yes, Sander. What brain work. Oh. Yes, oh, oh. Sander. Willow. She told me uh, I was a demon magnet, and 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 you two should get married. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I didn't see anything. Yes, that's she it. Did a spell. To have her will done, whatever she says is coming true. Yes. And you both were affected. I probably only escaped because I'm the Slayer. Oh, Some escaped. kind of natural immunity. <laughs> yeah, right. You're marrying Spike because you're so right for each other. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> You're off the usher list. Oh. People. Willow is out there and she probably doesn't know what she's doing. We gotta find her. Before somebody gets really hurt. <laughs> oh, no. I'm surprised that Willow hasn't said something like, oh, I want Oz to come back. <gasps> he didn't look nice. But he's got what the lightning about? stuff. It looked like what happened when she did the spell. I agree with Xander here. It seems like a lot of work for people who aren't us. Spike, these are my friends. Besides, it's kind of my job. For now. What? You want me to stop working? Oh, uh, let's see. Do I want you to give up killing my friends? Yeah, I've given it some thought. Oh, Willow's been Burns. taken away. To Hoffren. He's opened a portal here. <gasps> to Hoffren. He made me a demon 1120 years ago. You have much anger and pain. Your magic is strong, but your pain, it's like a scream that pierces dimensional walls. Uh, I'll try for a quiet rage. <laughs> Bye. Oh, she's cute. Our intention is not to quash your potential quite the contrary okay so what are they going to do with her they seem pleased by her hey demon oh, oh. I love how Spike her husband to be doesn't help oh no they're going to shut themselves in some sort of crypt okay oh nice Anya knows what to do. Good girl. Let the space be now a gateway to the world of Arash Mahar, where demons respond. You are ready to join us here in Arash Mahar. She doesn't want to be a demon. They're strong, and I can't fight. If they get in, I don't know if I can protect you. <gasps> That's true. He can't fight. There's nothing that he can do. I feel better. I'm sorry, Spike, for doubting you. I'm doubting your love. <laughs> But you did. This is the result of your power. You will make a fine vengeance demon. <gasps> no, please, you have to help them. You are my interest what? in this matter. No, there is no way. No way. Really? No offense intended. I mean, you've been super nice and everything, but I don't want to be a demon. I, I just want to go back and help my friends. That is your answer? I it is. <gasps> I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, well. <laughs> Here is my talisman. You change your mind, give us a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Spike, are you okay? Oh no, oh no. I have a feeling that Willow's going to stop the spell when they're like mid kiss. <laughs> Let the healing power begin. Let this harmful spell be broken. feel so horribly guilty yes i figure about a million chips from now mm. cookies very mm. not evil thing i did eat a cookie ease my pain don't i get the cookie oh, no <laughs> well i gotta have something still have buffy taste in my mouth oh. you're a pig spike oh did i mention about the sorry part we may be into a forgetting spell later 
I loved him. We were betrothed. Yeah. And the bad boy thing? Over it. I'd be really happy to be in a nice relationship with a decent, reliable... Oh, my God, Riley thinks I'm engaged. <gasps> what? Riley! Yes! He, he, he saw me! Oh, What the hell am I gonna say no. to him? <laughs> you thought I was serious? No. Um, you weren't serious? No, it's just... I saw that fear in your eyes when you caught me looking at wedding dresses, and I had to give you a hard time. So you decided That's to tell cute. me you're getting married? Uh-huh. You're insane. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. But you're still single. Yes. Just a, another little piece of the Buffy puzzle. Yes. You really have a lot to learn about women, Riley. <laughs> you're gonna teach me. Hmm. You know, I thought he would kiss her in that moment. I really respect him for not. Mmm. First things first, before I forget, I love Buffy's hair in this episode. It wasn't curled. It wasn't, like, just wavy. It looked like it had been crimped, but but not I just I, I love that crimping is probably quite reminiscent of the 90s I used to have like um, a little crimper it definitely does look like some sort of crimped style but I love it and I've also noticed that she has been wearing her blush I know this probably is very uninteresting to many but she has been wearing her blush um, like further across on her cheek as well which really gives her an innocent sort of look. I, I, I'm feeling a very innocent and youthful appearance from that blusher placement. So I just think she looks so lovely like that with that beautiful relaxed hairstyle and the blush. She looked beautiful in this episode. Now I want to mention Riley. Look, I don't mind him. I don't have anything against him. I think that the initiative thing that he's in his army with Professor Walsh is not something bad. I feel that it is going to be beneficial to the people of Sunnydale and thus the world to be capturing the demons to stop them from being able to attack to not hurt people so that is only a good thing my only concern with that is that he hasn't told Buffy but then I'm not too worried about that because Buffy is a slayer which she hasn't told Riley about so they both have their secrets so that's fine it's not like one is keeping something from the other and the other has no secrets but also I'm concerned that this initiative thing actually may end up being evil. I don't see any signs of that at the moment, but of course, never say never. These things definitely do happen here on Buffy. So unless they are capturing the demons and wanting to uh, take their essence or something to build like this super demon army thing and they're actually really bad people, I don't really have a problem with Riley being in this army initiative thing. Riley does seem nice, but exactly like what Buffy said, he's just a little bit bland. That's the only thing that I feel with him, like compared to uh, Buffy's other boyfriends like Angel, and I know that Parker isn't necessarily a boyfriend, but she did spend time with him. They are kind of like the bad boy sort of vibes. It's definitely something that Buffy seems to go for. And Riley does not have that bad boy sort of vibe. He's very sweet, attentive, patient, loving. And I really did think he would kiss her in that last moment. But having him not do that makes me respect him a lot. And... Uh, moves him up a couple of notches in my eyes as well. Buffy with Spike in this episode was so funny but with episodes like this when they're not their real selves and it's either a spell or a dream or an alternate universe I feel that it's just 
like a little bit of fun. It's just something that you can enjoy that doesn't actually have a lot of meaning. It's not something that's going to come true. It's just something that you can enjoy for this one episode and go back to normal next episode. But that was so funny seeing them together. There is no way that they would ever be together without having this spell done. There is just absolutely no way. Like, uh, you just wouldn't do that. She's already been with Angel, Vampire Angel. She's not going to be with Vampire Spike. But I actually love how they are still letting him hang around. They're feeding him blood. They're looking after him. I do sort of want Spike's involvement to end up being some sort of friendship or maybe have him get involved in their group perhaps. Like he then suddenly becomes a member of their group from having looked after him for so long and him helping them out with uh, the initiative, the army people. I just think it would be really cute if Spike actually ended up being like a little little gang member. I don't know how likely that is, but I do like him being around. I really do. He's a he's an interesting character. I really did think that we would see. Oz again in this one because Willow cast that spell I thought for sure that she would say something about Oz because she said it about every everyone else there and you would think that her being so heartbroken there would would have been a huge possibility for her to like say out loud oh I wish Oz was still here Oz should be back here with me. Oz should never have left. There would probably be a huge possibility that she would have said that out loud. But maybe that only comes true if she's talking to someone else about it at the same time. I don't really know how that spell worked, but I am surprised that Oz didn't show up. And also surprised again that all of his stuff is gone because I really did think and I still do think that this is only temporary though like I love Willow and Oz together and I hate seeing Willow so upset but I think you know most of us have been there with heartbreak and breakups and we know the pain of it and how it feels and I can totally relate to how Willow is feeling and it hurts a lot and it's all consuming. It consumes you until that it, it just becomes like this big part of you. And Willow, unfortunately, although we love her so much, she's unfortunately uh, brings the mood down. Uh, like with the picnic when Buffy was there with Riley, they were having a great time and Willow sits down and immediately her mood, her emotions are there and it's just so heavy on the people around her which is so understandable to me but I really do hope that she is able to I guess come to terms and move on if Oz never comes back but honestly Buffy is right it really just does take time and it's gonna hurt for her for a long time but she will get there I know that she will she's so strong and resilient. Really fun episode. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you guys did too. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Bye.